Welcome to the Chevrolet Post Game. Here now, Mike Tirico. Dominant right from the start with a blocked field goal. Offense, defense, special teams, everything. Dallas wins 40 to nothing. The worst opening game shutout in the NFL since the Browns returned in 1999. And Pittsburgh beat them 43 to nothing. Our players of the game tonight could go everywhere on the Cowboys. We'll go with Dak Prescott and his total performance. Tony Pollard, two touchdowns in game one as the top running back of the Cowboys and the defense was outstanding throughout and here is Melissa Stark with the Cowboys quarterback. Well Dak told us this week whenever the Cowboys play the Giants it is a heavyweight fight. This was a total knockout. What impressed you most? Uh, just the discipline um, of our team getting up early staying committed to it not getting ahead of ourselves um, all three phases uh, I don't know really what I have this for I think this belongs to the defense uh, these guys off the line made it easy a fun game way to start the season off and this guy over here two touchdowns for you and now the number one running back how would you describe this win man I'm just blessed um, you know blessed to be back on the field be back healthy um, grateful for the opportunity you know we we prepare so hard all week. We put in the work. You know, we kill ourselves all week at practice for these moments, and then we come out and put on a show like this. Yeah, and what was it like to have Mike McCarthy in your ear calling the plays for the first time? Uh, it was great. Um, yeah, something that, that I look forward to. Uh, he has a great way of getting them in, keeping our tempo going, whether we're in the huddle, outside of the huddle. Um, he knows what he wants to do. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's just so, getting started. Just getting started. Now you head back home and you host the other New York team, the Jets and Aaron Rodgers. You guys have had a couple of good battles. What can we expect? Uh, I mean, obviously, you always uh, got to respect Aaron. Um, one of the best to do it. You know they've got a great defense, uh, but we'll be ready. We're going to prepare our asses off this week and make sure we're ready to go. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. All right, Melissa, thanks. They'll go for the full Sinatra. They'll go for New York, New York to start the season. This week on Peacock, head to the Dutton Ranch and stream every episode of Yellowstone. Plus, your pre- and post-game commentary fix. Don't miss Pro Football Talk and Sunday Night Football Final. And for all of you still hanging with us, thanks. And we're going to take a look at the Dolphins and Patriots next Sunday night in Foxborough. When Chris and I come back to East Rutherford, New Jersey. Welcome back to the Chevrolet Post Game. The Patriots are Super Bowl champions, led by the greatest quarterback, the greatest of all time. It is going to be a fantastic night. A lot of anticipation in the AFC East. Every game's got a big feel, and that'll be next Sunday night. It was kind of interesting to watch the game and see the shots of Tom Brady sitting next to Robert Kraft and Jonathan Kraft in the owner's box. A great honor there. But let's talk about the Patriots for a second. Because while Tua had 466 yards passing, New England had a lot of yards, 465 in the loss to Philly. Well, and I think everybody considers Philadelphia to be at least one of the two or three favorites right. in this whole thing this year, right? And they jump out 16 nothing, and I'm thinking, oh, man, why are we doing the Patriots and they're going to be a down year? And they never gave up. No. I mean, in true Bill Belichick kind of form, they just kept slugging, had a chance there at the end of the game. But it's so good to see Tua playing like that after all he'd been through physically a season ago. And Tyreek lost his mind Oof. today. I mean, he was up and down the field. Uh, amazing performance, really. It'll be a lot of fun to watch the week one. All, all the guessing of what is it going to look like. Now we know what it looks like for teams. So we'll dig into the tape and we will have fun with you next Sunday night from Foxborough. And before we say good night, we need to say thank you to our crew. Yes. Everybody was in Dallas Thursday. These are always tough weeks when you travel half the country and go from Thursday night to Sunday night, bring all of the equipment. 
Put on top of that massive travel delays, any of you traveling this weekend know how tough it was with weather. And our crew drove hours, three, four connections just to get here and bring you Sunday night. And they made it look like a million bucks as usual, even though the building wasn't available until early Saturday. Thank you. We'll just say you have no idea yeah, exactly. what these people went through this week. Thank you all. <laughs> Be with the best in the business. Get out of here safe and get some rest, which we all will do. Our final score tonight, Dallas 40, the Giants nothing. Coming up next, except in the West Coast, it is your local news. And thanks to Rob Highland, Drew Esselkopf, leading that great Sunday night football team. With Chris Collinsworth, Melissa Stark, Terry McCauley, Mike Tirico. Good night from East Rutherford. In dominant fashion, Dallas 40, the Giants nothing. Good night. NBC Sports thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League.